Good morning. Thought for the day during Corona um, isolation. I got a buddy named Tim and Tim was reading the book of Revelation one day and he had not read it before. And he called me up and he said, I don't want to go outside. This book scares me to death. And the book of Revelation is, is a fascinating piece of, of scripture that reflects some of the uh, more specific to its day type of, of writing called apocalyptic writing. And if you wanted to know the secret to understanding Revelation, you, you should ask one person, because if you ask five people, you'll get five different views. So many people see it differently. I'm standing here in front of a bookshelf. Let me turn this around and see if you can see what I see. Just There's just book after book after book on the Revelation and, and apocalyptic literature and things of that nature. And, and that's, you know, that, that's the way it goes. But regardless of which interpretation method you use for the book of Revelation, there are certain basic things you can know. You can know, number one, there's a war going on. You can know, number two, it's tough on God's people. But most importantly, you can know number three, God wins in the end. Jesus returns. Last Sunday, we celebrated Palm Sunday when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. And that symbolizes uh, a victory that a king wins through a, a peaceful process. That's not a warring king, that's a king coming in peace. Um, Revelation has Jesus coming again. When Jesus comes again, he's not on the back of a donkey coming in peace. He's coming on a horse. Uh, he's coming to wage war until all of his enemies are defeated. And he wears on his thigh the name Faithful and True. That's the eternal name that we can ascribe to Jesus. Jesus, the conquering hero, is faithful and true, and he's that for us today. He's faithful and true to us in our crisis. God does not love us one day and forget us the next. God is in control in the midst of a war and in the midst of a battle. And so as this battle wages around us and as we try to figure out what to do on days like today, an isolation day, a day when we're struggling, uh, maybe uh, physically, maybe with our health, maybe emotionally, maybe financially, maybe with security, uh, maybe with relationships, who knows what you're struggling with today. What you need to know is we worship a God who is faithful and true, who's not separated from us in this war, but promises at the end to bring all enemies under his feet. Now that's a thought I can live with today.